All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. This week, we're going to be doing something new on the channel. Per popular demand, I'm going to start posting a lot more on YouTube starting this week. I'm going to test this out this week, though. I don't know if I'm going to do this forever. I'm just going to do this Monday to Friday this week and just see the feedback on it and see how it goes. People ask me all the time to make like a full playthrough style series of the videos I'm doing. And I've explained before, I don't exactly want to do that. Like someone said to do a commentary style video like other creators do. I mean, I don't like doing that because I don't like doing exactly what everyone else does. I like doing my own thing. That's why I like posting like the, the highlights of the playthroughs as like the best moments once the playthroughs are done. That's what I posted last Saturday. I, that's one of my favorite videos I've ever made. I love making videos like that. So what I'm doing this week though, for the people that have been asking for other ways to view this content, because on YouTube, I stream in vertical because a lot of people like the streams like that. And then on Twitch, we have the full normal screen. So I provide options for both people depending on what they wanna watch. The problem is though, the YouTube vertical stream stays forever. And I will note, watch re-watching those might not be the most enjoyable viewing experience. People would rather watch in the full normal screen mode. So, what we're doing this week is I'm gonna be recording all this stuff, and then once the streams are done, the gameplay of Platinum, I'm gonna post as a video every single day. Just like how Queso does it. You look at Queso, when he streams, he plays all his different games. TCG Card Shop Simulator, for instance. He records his entire gameplay of TCG Card Shop Simulator and just posts an unedited video, unedited video of that. I'm gonna do that every day this week of Platinum to see how people like it. If people like it, we'll do it every single day for every single game I play. If people don't, if it, if it doesn't do that great, I probably won't do it going forward, but I just wanna test it out this week. I just wanted to test it out this week because people keep asking about it. People keep asking about like, how can I watch the other ones? So, like, I'm gonna try that this week. I think it'll be, uh, I think it'll be, um, I, I think it'll be something a lot of people enjoy because I have noticed the streams on YouTube, the viewership is like, normally after I'm done posting the streams, like they'll get like maybe 20, 30 views afterwards. They're getting like three, four, 500 views after I'm done streaming. So like pe there's people that wanna watch it. So I'm gonna start posting that every single day this week. Just to let you guys know, this will be the first one. I will note, uh, it will be kind of awkward because I was, I, I tested it out this weekend. Now, I, I'm just gonna post it as is. I'm not gonna edit it at all because I tried editing it and then I went to post it. And when I just, I, cause I was to cut it exactly like the beginning and very end. And I was like, it, it wasn't, the quality looked butt cheeks. I couldn't export it in a, in the same quality as it was recorded in for whatever reason. Maybe because it was like, it's gonna be suck. It's gonna be like a two, three hour file. Maybe it's because of that. So I'm literally just gonna post it as is. Just to let you guys know, just to let you go. Wait, we hit 6K. No. Already? Oh my God, we're 6,003 subscribers. Let's go! Dude! Th you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Si guys, we hit, we hit 5,000 subscribers last Monday. We're seven days later, another thousand sub. How many, what's the average for that? 1,000. What's 1,000 divided by seven? A hundred, 142 subs a day. Thank you guys so much. That is insane. Let's go. Dude, oh my God. Dude, I was literally saying, dude, go back to the start of the month. Yo, um, Carver, thank you for subscribing. Go back to the start of the month. Go back to the start of the month. I said, dude, I'll be hyped if we hit 5,000 subscribers this month. By the end of October, I said 5,000 subscribers by the end of October. Dude, we still have a week and a half left of October and we just hit 6,000. Shout, shout out to you guys. There were people in the chat saying, nah, bro, you're going to hit 6,000 easily this month. And here we are. Thank you guys so much. Everyone on Twitch as well. We just hit, we hit 1,000 on Twitch last week. 
We're here. We just hit 6K on YouTube. Dude, the, the play is the play is on the come up. The play is on the come up. I'm telling you guys. I'm going to be the king of Pokemon. I know I talk about this all the time. I, we just hit 6K. Let me, I got to say this. We're going to do it. To every single person watching me now, I promise, I am making a promise to you guys. I've said this before. I promise every single person watching this right now, whether you be watching this live on stream, on YouTube, on Twitch, watching the replay of this stream, or watching the video I'm about to post of this stream once I'm done streaming, I promise you guys I am going to be the biggest Pokemon creator in the world. I can promise you that. I am going to change Pokemon forever. I am going to be the biggest Pokemon creator there is. And I'm not going to be someone that just plays games, that just shiny hunts, that just plays Unite, that just plays Pokemon Go, that just does the TCG. I am going to do absolutely everything. My channel is going to be the place, or channels, because YouTube and Twitch, my channels, streams, and videos are going to be the place for people to go to that if you're a fan of Pokemon by any degree, and no matter what part of Pokemon you're a fan of, you will find entertainment watching my stuff. And I, once I achieve that of being the biggest Pokemon creator, I promise you guys I am going to change Pokemon forever. I can promise you that right now. I am going to be the king of Pokemon, and I'm going to change Pokemon forever. Pokemon's going it, to... It's going to be... You thought Pokemon was good now? Just wait. Just wait. I, it's going to be... It's going to... Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching all my stuff. It means so much. Let's go! Okay, now let's play the game. Now we can start playing the game. Now we can start playing the game. Dude, that's insane. 6,000. Dude, we're going to hit 100K. It's only a matter of time. We're going to hit 100,000 subscribers. We're going to hit 100,000 subscribers. And it's going to be... Oh my god. Dude, I'm going to be crying on stream when we hit 100,000 subscribers. I was thinking about this. I was thinking about this over the weekend. Shout out Luffy. Now, I will note, I know that me saying the king of Pokemon and all that stuff sounds just like Luffy. I promise you, I didn't even, like, I didn't realize that. Like, I, now you think I was a fan of One Piece before I started saying I wanted to be the king of Pokemon. God on his truth, you can, you don't have to believe this if you don't want to. I'm saying this because this is legitimately the truth. Before I... Or, so I came with the idea to say I want to be the king of Pokemon and like it I didn't even think like oh that's just like it wasn't inspired because of Luffy that's a good way to describe it it was inspired because of Luffy but like dude it, now that I think about it like I I, it, I should say it is because of just how I saw an edit of One Piece this past weekend that just got me like dude I can see it. I can envision myself hitting that 100,000 mark. You're going to be thinking, like, 100,000? Like, what's so great about that? You're saying you want to be the biggest Pokemon creator. You'll hit a million eventually because that... Yes, but, like, that first 100,000 is, like... Oh, I want, I want that plaque so bad. To, to, I, oh. Thank you guys for watching me. I appreciate it. We're going to hit it one day. We're going to hit it one day. We're going to hit it one day. I promise you. I promise you that. Now, everyone watching now, it's like investing in stocks early. You'll be able to say, I've been a fan of that dude. I remember I was watching his stream when he first hit 6,000 subscribers. I remember watching his stream when he first hit 6K over on YouTube. I appreciate you guys that are watching here so much. You'll be able to brag to all your friends and you see me hit 6 mil or something like that. You're amazing where your energy and reactions are everything. Uh, keep it up. I want my kids to watch you when they grow up. Yo, CPT Matt. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Thank Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who's better, Nami or Robin? I like... I'm, I'd say I'd probably like Nami better. Dude, because Nami, with like the weather thing, imagine if she gets like some cool devil fruit. I always see people say, like she's going to get, um... I always see people say she's going to get Enaru's fruit. Could you imagine how sick that would be if Nami gets Enaru's fruit? Yo, Mora Play, uh, Bony Gaming, uh, 775 Adrian, thank you for everyone that's tuning in and following and subscribing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dude, that would be insane. Because with her power now with Zeus, it's so sick. But Robin, on the other hand, like, dude, I love Robin as well because of, like, the, ar the, the archaeologist aspect of it. Yo, see my thing for following on Twitch. Dude, it's so it's it's so cool. Cause like I love like I like I've I've talked about this before. Ryan, thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. Dude, 
Like, the, I love learning about, like, history and, like, ancient civilizations and all that stuff. Like, that's what Robin, like, she's a, from O'Hara. The, like, the, the, like, the archaeology and all that stuff. The, I, I, if I, I don't even know if I could, actually, I don't think that I can't pick one. Robin or Nami, they're both goaded. They're both goaded characters. They're both goaded characters. They're both goaded. I, they're, they're both amazing. They're both so good. Dude, and one thing too, I kind of hope Vivi joins the crew. Because you imagine that. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. If Viv Vivi joins the crew. With how, because I won't spoil anything, but the most recent chapter, I think it might. I think she might. People have been saying it for years now, but with how everything happened, I'm like, dude, she might. She legit might. And that, like, Nami, Robin, Vivi, that'd be, for, like, people talk about, like, female casts and that type of stuff, that'd be one of the best ones ever. That'd be so sick. That'd be so sick. Who's your longest shiny hunting Pokemon? It was Frigabax. 30 hours. I don't shiny hunt anymore. I don't like it anymore. I don't, I'm bored of shiny hunting. I got everybody, um, I got everybody I wanted to shiny hunt. Absolutely everybody I wanted to shiny hunt, I got in Scarlet and Violet. The only thing that I want is on one day I want to get a shiny Lugia in a game. One day I want to get a shiny Lugia in a game. But I don't know what game it'll be in. You know, plays game bigger when he starts getting haters. <laughs> Dude. I, I was gonna mention that as well. This past weekend, I had I had got I would get comments here and there of that flopjack buy me a Honda Civic. Dude, I'm gonna buy myself a Honda Civic. What do you mean? I ain't buying anyone else a Honda Civic. I'm gonna buy myself one. The one, I, I was watch, Me and my brother was watching the Chelsea game over the weekend, and after the Chelsea game ended, um, the first Fast and the Furious movie came on, and it was the black Honda Civics at the start of it. I want one of those. That'd be so sick. But, dude, I, so I've been posting the clips and stuff of the best moments of my streams on social media. That's how a lot of you guys found me, I am sure. And again, it's the best moments. Nobody wants to see me get, I mean, butt cheek stuff. Nobody wants to see me encounter... We encountered Slow King at the end of last stream. No one wants to see that. So I don't post those as clips. I only post the good stuff. And people were commenting. I would get like maybe one or two a week over the weekend, dude. I was getting so many comments. Rigged. Rigged. This is fake. Fake spawns. Like and all this stuff. Like that's how I know this stuff is like starting to do good good. Because people are hating on it now. Like people are hating it. That's like you might be thinking... Oh, are you upset that there's people hating? No, I'm happy. Because that means that that literally means we're reaching a higher level. When you start to have haters, you know you're reaching a higher level. Because some more motivation. People are only gonna hate on you if you're doing something good. Nobody's gonna actually hate on you if you're not if you're just doing something basic, normal that no one else cares or likes. If you're doing something different than everyone else, if you're doing something that other people are jealous of, if you're having more success than other people have, then people are gonna hate on you no matter what. It's just I literally started talking earlier today. The start of the stream earlier today. I was talking about like one thing that like triggers me is when people just hate on greatness. Look at people like Messi, Ronaldo, LeBron, Jordan, Brady, One Piece. People just hate on the stuff that's the best of what it is just because it's the best. So, like, people will inherently hate no matter what. And it see that I have haters. All the haters watching, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys so much because you make me realize, like, we're actually doing it. I thank you guys so much. Yo, um, Mace of Spades, name for tuning in, man. I appreciate it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's start playing the game. We already battled Barry. And I went to the Pokemon Center and healed up. Now, was I meant to go into here? Are we meant to battle? No way I battle Wake already, do I? Sup, buddy? How's it going? Gym Leader Wake. Uh, I mean, Crasher Wake. So is his name Crasher? Crasher's a sick name if it is. You can play Pokemon Scarlet? I played Pokemon Scarlet. We did it on stream already. We did it on stream already. I'm probably good with Scarlet for a little while now. If I'm being honest... Uh, master of water type Pokemon, so you've got guts you want to face down water type with fire or ground type Pokemon. Okay, so it isn't water type, it isn't water type. It is not water type. Just to let everybody know. We gotta scout out what type it is. We're gonna lead Snivy the Metagross right here. Let's lead Snivy. 
Okay, I was gonna say, did I not, did I not automatically battle him? My favorite Pokemon game, either Pokemon Black and White or Black 2, White 2. I don't know which. I do not know which. All I know is those are one and two. Wait, is it normally, is it still water? Did Half try to fake me out over here? Did he try to fake me out over here? What's my my take on Legends Arcus? <laughs> Dude. So Legends Arceus. Playing the game initially, I was low-key a hater. Because while I was playing the game, I'm like, I don't want to go out and do these stupid Pokédex things where I have to earn the stars, catch 75 Yen Megas, and do all that stuff. The aspect of catching the same Pokémon again and again and again, I did not like. That actually infuriated me. Although, once you get past that, like the climax of the story and the actual story of the game, one of the best ever for Pokemon games. I genuinely, 100% worth it, yes. The grind you have to go through, that boring stuff of catching the same Pokemon again and again, for the st how the story like c climaxes and concludes, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Legends Arceus is great. And for it being the first version of that style of game, I think it, it it only gonna be up from there. ZA, I have so I have such high expectations for ZA. Be and I will know like no matter what, I'm not gonna be disappointed with ZA. I'm gonna be happy with ZA no matter what. Like because of how good Legends Arceus was, like I have such high expectations now for these other games. Such high expectations now for these other games. Like of that style. Like the spin. And I think that too opened up a lot of doors for Pokemon because they're like, people like this so much, it did so good, we can do so much stuff now. Like, they can do whatever now for these extra style games. Because honestly, they probably felt like they were kind of trapped in this, like, okay. They probably felt like they were trapped in this, like, kind of, like, cycle of how they had to have these games be, but now they can literally just do whatever they want. They're like, pe people will like it. Yo, um, S, Death, thank you for uh, following on Twitch. All right, do I have to go level my guys up? Should I go level people up? Because we're getting cooked over here by this little tuber kid at the beginning of the gym. At the beginning of the gym. Okay, there's a highlighted message in the Twitch chat. I play Pokemon Black. Is it worth buying Black 2? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I will know. You don't... You go sail the seven seas to go play Black 2. But, um, dude, they're the best. No, this is not a Nuzlocke. One thing, too, there's a lot of people watching right now, and I've noticed there's been a lot of people saying they're, they're, this is their first stream. I This is not a Nuzlocke. I don't do Nuzlocke. We, I will not, we have done technically two on the channel before, about a year ago. All these games you're seeing me play, I don't, they're not Nuzlocke. They are not Nuzlocke. Why? People, like, the fact that people watch what I'm playing and assume it's a Nuzlocke is why it's not a Nuzlocke. That is literally why it's not a Nuzlocke. The fact that people tune into my stuff and say, wait, this is a Nuzlocke. No, it's not. I don't like Nuzlocke. Why? Everybody does them. Abs, if you, if people want to watch someone do a Nuzlocke, there are thousands of other people making Pokemon videos that are doing Nuzlocke. I personally am not doing a Nuzlocke because of that reason alone. I, everybody does them. I do my own thing. We have the wheel and have a good time. Now, I will note, inspiration with the Nuzlocke, the aspect of losing Pokemon and stuff. We are going to do something like that. I am going to do something like that eventually, but not right now. Not immediately. Not immediately. You know what? It's probably because we have... Dude, Big Daddy better evolve... We're five levels away. Big Daddy better evolve into something good over here, dude. Then why one per route? Be I mean, to be fair, if we caught more, because it make then make the the spins meaningless. If I could catch more than one Pokemon on the route, the spin wouldn't matter. Okay, not that way. So we got to figure this out. Nope, wrong way. The button's right here. I I remember having a hard time with this gym. My brain just stopped working. Am I dumb? What? God, am I an idiot?
Lower the water level down. Oh, I go through. I'm an idiot. I can never remember, realize that. You run through the middle. Got it. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, no, yeah, I wanted to lead lax. I want to lead lax right here. Can I request something? What is it? Yo, Mace of Spades, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it. I like your name as well. The Ace of Spades! The Ace of Spades! Thank you for tuning in, man. Leaf Blade right here. So is this normally water? Uh, this might just be a water gym. This might just be a water gym. Um, yo, Brooke, uh, you inspired me to start the Pokemon Planet of Random is Dirty by Square. It's possible to catch legendary Pokemon even when I get them low and like sleep and they just won't catch any tips. So, the best way we were able to catch stuff was timer balls. Timer balls, timer balls, timer balls. Those were the best. Go back to the, the, um, the, like, mod, when I played black and white and black two, white two. Timer balls are how we caught everything. Literally everything. Chafing nipples. Thank you for following. Timer balls are how we caught abs- Dude, I remember there was this, sorry, there was this one guy on my soccer team. He'd always complain about that, and he'd pull up, he'd put- duct tape on his nips so he said they wouldn't chafe. He's like, dude, they're bleeding! I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> nah, but, uh, timer balls. Timer balls are the best way of catching stuff. They're, that's the best way. Can I... Why can't I walk across that? Dude, I'm giga dumb. I'm giga dumb. Oh, it's not high enough, is it? No, that lowers it. Wait, there's nowhere to go from here when you do that. There's some real stuff I had to put. I had terrible jerseys in high school. And I had to put band-aids over them. Did the strips at first and went to the little round ones. I've never had it. I, I mean, uh, T's and P's for those that deal with chafing nips. I've never had to deal with that myself. Thankfully, it seems like. Thankfully, it seems like. Fly to my message. What'd you say? Could you play Pokemon Showdown against us? Like 1v1s just battle randoms online against random people. One day we'll do, I'll do random battles and stuff. I, I don't, I'm, I'm never again am I going to do like match up with specific people because for one reason. So I did a stream before. This is a while ago now. I did a stream where I gave away shiny Charizards in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I had an abundance of shiny, this was towards when I started like the beginning of my streams. I uh, had a b abundance of shiny Charmanders because there was a Charizard, Charmander Calm Day for the third time and I had tons of them. I played for only an hour during the comm day because I was streaming for the first two hours of the comm day, sitting here playing Scarlet and Violet. And then I, I went out and played for the last hour, and I caught like 40-something shiny Charmanders. No, I'm not 40. It might have been, I think it was 30-something. I had like 40-something total, I believe. And I'm like, oh, what do I do with these? I don't want to transfer them. I don't have room for them in Pokemon Home. So like, you know what? I'm going to give them away. I'll give them away. So I did a stream where I battled people. And every time someone beat me, I gave him a shiny Charizard. And people were pissed about this stream. Like, battle me, battle me. Like, I'm battling this. And, like, the, the idea of, like, having to line up battles with people, I'm like, I'm never doing that again. If you guys want to bet, when I do random battles, like, I don't know if Crowbird's in here. Me and Crowbird go back and forth all the time in MMO. Because he stream snipes me when I'm playing MMO. When I do the random battles. That I'm perfectly fine with. I love that. It, it, honestly, it's fun battling you guys, but like, I will never do this stuff where it's specific, like, oh, I'm going to battle this person and that person, that person. If we randomly match up, I'll, I'm not going to back out of the battle. Like, I'll, we will have a exhilarating battle. But, um, the specific matchups, nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. You have to go to a lecture. See you later. A hey, good luck. Make sure you pay attention. Take good notes. Hope you have a good one as well. Thank you for tuning this stream. Hope you have a good one. Leia's last two brain cells are fighting for their lives here. No, what do you mean last two brain I'm able to talk about... I'm, we're talking about 18 different things right now. 
I'm talking about 18 different things right now all at once. The brain's firing on all cylinders right now. Firing on all cylinders. Bro, if me and Player Bro fight on Showdown, I'm gonna stomp him. Just you guys wait till we play Showdown again. I'll cook all of you. I'll cook all of you. I love Showdown, man. Does anyone know when Show Showdown came out? You wanna play your biggest donors? If someone drops like, like a hundred dollar donor and says battle me in Showdown, sure, I'll probably battle them in Showdown. Uh, yeah, paid or uh, what is it called? Sell out is what people say. Sure, we, we'll do that. <laughs> Gifted so coming in team on thirty seconds. Yo, I appreciate them. Th David, that's you, right? Sorry, your name. Uh, your name's not David on um, on uh, on Twitch, but you said it was da it was David on YouTube, I believe. Oh my night, here we go. Leaf Blade again, dude. Lax is just gonna run through this gym again. We just run through every single, every single gym. You know what I want to do though? I have an idea for a showdown stream. Maybe not for a full stream, but like play showdown. I no. Here's what we're gonna do. So I have an idea for after this playthrough. After this, yo, David, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. After this playthrough, we yo, uh, Jonathan, thank you for tuning in. White Eagle Ranger, thank you for tuning in. After we're done with this game, Platinum, we are going to do a tier list of every Pokemon I have ever used in one of these randomizers. I think that's going to be a goaded tier list. Every single Pokemon we've used in the randomizers, let's do a tier list of all those. I am so excited to do that. We're going to do that. And then after that, the top six Pokemon, we're going to build in a team and showdown and we're going to battle with that. I think that's going to be so much fun. This gym get randomized into a water gym. Dude, it might have. That, I, I think that, I don't know if that happened. No, I thought that happened one time before. Where, um, what's his name? What's the thing with Wonder Guard? Shedinja. Shedinja had, we battled a Shedinja and it had Wonder Guard. And I asked half and he's like, nah, that's just how it is. Like, whatever, like Shedinja is just, the, it has Wonder Guard. And it's the only Pokemon that can, can have Wonder Guard because he makes it so... Other Pokemon can't have it, like, not broke as like this. Like, Pelipper pulling with Spatial Rend right now. But I asked him, like, did it get random to Wonder Guard, or is it just normally Wonder Guard? He's like, no, it's just still, it'll be Wonder Guard regardless for a Shedinja. I was like, oh, okay. I thought, I was like, what are the odds that it gets random to what it's normally going to be? Did that happen right here? Did it get randomized to what it normally would be? That's actually crazy. Snorlax, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Shout out Snorlax. I love Snorlax. I love Snorlax. Watch your Pokemon anime tutorials video earlier today. Makes me want to rewatch everything. Dude, I love that. I love the the Pokemon anime. It's so good. All the all this stuff over the years just brings me joy. Just brings me jo just the the Pokemon anime X and Y in particular. Even Al Alola as well. Like when I think of the Pokemon anime, first two things that pop in my head X and Y and Alola. Those are like the top two in my head. I think I put. Did I put XY Journeys Alola or did I put XY Lola? I don't remember which I what the order I had them in. I know XY was number one. I love, I love Alola. What about Indigo League? Oh, like, I mean, to be fair, all of them are good except Black and White. I didn't. Post Pokemon League Black and White was good. Post Pokemon League Black and White was very good. I really like that. I really, really like that. But, um, the everything leading up to it was kind of buns, if I'm being honest. Geese, what is the meaning of life? We got the big, deep questions over here on the stream. The meaning of life. Having fun. Enjoying what you do. I'd say that. Meaning of life. Enjoying what you are doing. And not caring what others think. That legitimate answer, do, doing what you enjoy and not caring what others think. For instance, Pokemon is something people could easily make fun of. Oh, you're a fan of Pokemon? Yeah, I'm a fan of Pokemon, buddy. Who cares? Like, I, just, like, be you. Just do what you like. Like, that's the thing, too. People that, the people, just think about the people that hate on Pokemon, like, Pokemon's the biggest thing there is. The only thing bigger than Pokemon is sports. Like, it's literally the top grossing franchise in the world. Like, literally. Literally. Pokemon actually is quite good with Squishy. Dude, I love Squishy. Shout out Squishy. Shout out Squishy.
Dude, we're getting deep over here with this question. The meaning of life? I don't get how people can hate on that stuff, man. Like, that's one thing I actually don't understand. How can someone see something that brings people so much joy and just be like, now nah, I'm going to hate on that? Like, how do people even hate in the first place? Genuine question. How do people, like, I get it if something's like an actual bad thing and you're hating on that. Like, this current season of Blue Lock deserves all the hate it's getting. But, like, people that actually, like, hate other people and other things, like, I don't even, I don't, I don't understand that, man. And I'm not trying to sound like some enlightened, like, Gandhi person over here. But, like, dude, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. Um. Let me go Snivy right here. So maybe Snivy takes it out and gets XP. The My Hero Academia fan base deserves to be hated on. Dude. <laughs> when the uh, Demon Slayer movie came out and there was the TikTok audio of like the when you go to the POV you go to the Demon Slayer movie and it's the people screaming and there's the Deku the people just screaming stuff like that man oh my god dude I thought that was fake I thought that stuff was fake then I go to one of the anime movies and I'm like oh no it's real it, they're not even lying but you know what shout out those people you know why those people don't care what other people think the people, the my, those My Hero fans, they don't care what anyone else thinks. Shout out those My Hero fans. <laughs> Shout out those My Hero fans. Don't want you guys that people's opinions about you don't matter. It's eye-opening one for sure. Dude, I was, I, I, I said this before. Like, I was, because there's a lot of people that, dude, can we do more damage? Snivy, can we do more damage? Like, the moment you don't care what other people think, your life changes forever. Literally, I, like, God honest truth. The moment you stop caring what other people think, your life changes forever. And again, I don't, sorry, I don't mean to be getting this motivational, enlightened speech stuff for the day. I'm over here, I mean, we're battling the tuber right now in, in the gym. But like, dude, literally, literally, once you stop caring what other people think, like, everything changes for the better. God honest truth, God honest truth. And I've always been someone that just does my own thing. And like, doesn't really care what other people think. So it could be, you could say it's easy for me to say, but trust me, trust me. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I meant to push this button now. No, but now I'm stuck here. Wait, what's the point of that button? Oh, is it to push this one? Oh, we got it, we got it. Wait, no, I didn't get it. I'm just back to square freaking one. Wait, have I been up here before? I have not. I have not been up here before. I have not been up here before. Um, Ryan, I can't say. I apologize. I cannot say. Have I ever played Kingdom Hearts? I have not. Can you play Fatty Lax Loves? I don't even know what that word is. Shout out Fatty Lax. I apologize. I don't know. Thank you for the dono. I don't know what that word is. What's that word mean? The Indian guy from Pitch Perfect? That's what Google says. Utkarsh Ambu Am Ambudakar. I I am sorry I said his name wrong. And it said literally Google's Wikipedia. The Indian guy in Pitch Perfect. Look, like, can we give this dude a better description? Can this guy, like, this guy, I mean, he doesn't deserve that. Look, I can't even read that comment out loud. What? You need to play Kingdom Hearts? Is it good? Is it good? I heard of it before even. Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Let me hear something familiar. No, I've never seen it before. Has someone brought this? No, no, wait, wait, is this a Nintendo game? 
No, it says Disney. What? Okay, no, I've never heard of this. I have never heard of this before. We just got Winnie the Pooh. And the rat from rat. Wait, what is this? I've never played it before. Okay, hang on. Um, dude, one problem is we don't have a stab move on Gallade. I, I do not have a stab move on Gallade, which is kind of a problem for us. Kind of a problem for us. Yo, 775, I, if I make a video like that, my channel will get deleted. I can't make a video like that. Uh, let me go Laboon. Laboon, we need you to clutch up here. Everybody's dead. Lax died, Snivy's dead. Everyone's getting cooked. Hopefully Lax can sweep through. All right, we did nothing. There goes wing attack. Please do no damage to me. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let me go Hydro Bomb and see what this does. Dude, Kingdra's good, huh? If you don't have anything super effective against Kingdra, you're cooked. You're cooked. Wing attack. We're good. Oh, we got the burn. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's massive right there. Massive right there getting the burn. Dude, the burn's doing more damage than my attacks are doing. The burn is doing more damage than my attacks are doing. Yo, uh, uh, Jameer, uh, Jameer Barnes, thank you for subscribing on YouTube, man. I appreciate it. Burn takes him out. There we go. Was that the last trainer? So should I go back to the Pokemon Center before we do the, uh, we do the gym? We have another poke. He has two more. Isn't Kingdra an OU? I believe it is. Kingdra's OP, man. Kingdra's cracked. Okay, faint snack. I always think this thing's psychic, but you guys always tell me it's pure water. Let's see. Is this going to be super effective? No, it just got a crit. I was about to say. No, it is. It's pure water. Why do they make this thing look like it'd be some psychic duck, but it's just pure water? Like, why do they do that? Yeah, we got to level up. I think I'm going to have to go level up. Okay, this move doesn't have to hit me all five times. Just because it can hit five times doesn't mean it has to hit me five times. Dude, does anyone remember when I saw... I looked at shiny of these dead in the eyes, said it's not shiny, and walked away. Dude, we were shiny hunting. Who were we shiny hunting? I think it was Halucha. And it, it, Halucha was on that hill. And at the bottom of the hill, there was the water. And I was looking around. Oh, no, yeah, we were looking for a Lucha. I took a break. I was looking for Vaporeon, I think. And we're walking around in there. And um, I see a Golduck that looks slightly different than the others. And I go, I literally say, is that shiny? Nah, it's just the light. I thought it was a lighting thing because sometimes in the shadows or when the sun is rising and setting, Pokemon look like they look different colors. Although, it's just the sun rising slash setting, or they're in a shadow. I'm like, oh, that's not a shiny gold duck. It's just sitting there in the shadow. Then I walk away, and then I see people in the chat saying, that was a shiny. I'm like, no, it's not. So I look it up. I thought shiny gold duck was like purple. Look it up. Sure enough, I literally looked at a shiny gold duck, said that's not shiny, and walked away. Okay, I'm going to lose to this guy. Oh my god, we got the burn on Pelipper. That, that might just win us the battle. That literally might be the difference right there to win us the battle. Pelipper gets burned. We just have to hang on for a couple of turns. Snivy, you're up. Snivy, you're up. Just delay, delay, delay. Sni oh. Can Snivy do anything? Mirror shot. Do we have no good... Maybe the random moves was a, was a bad idea. We really have nothing really good on our guys. We have good Pokemon. We don't have good moves. That's the thing. Okay, I think it's going to take three more for the burn to take it out. Hopefully, Rika can get an attack off so we take it out this turn. Yo, Ryan, thank you for the 45 bits. I appreciate it. Psychic. Okay, Riki goes first. We're good. We're all good. Dude, this thing's quick, huh? Yuxi? It's been kind of quick for us. Okay, and Pelipper goes down. Thank God we now have to leave. I now have to get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of here and go heal up. Yo, Oaksar, thank you for tuning in. Er, Oscar. Oscar. Dude, I'm, I'm, I've had L reading lately. L reading lately. Yo, Noter, 
I live in Australia. It's almost 3 a.m. I have schooled Mario. I still watch the future king of Pokemon. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yo, HJZ, thank you for tuning in. Okay, is this the button I'm meant to push? Can this give me a direct path back to the beginning? Excuse me, wait. It does. Perfect. We gotta get out of here. I have to go heal up. Yuxi is the only one up, and then stupid coughing still up. But Big Daddy coughing, dude, if this thing doesn't evolve into something good, I'll actually be mad. Because it has taken so much XP from our other Pokemon. Hello from Malaysia. Yo, Amirul, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Dude, I'm so hyped. My pool opens back up next week. My pool opens back up next week. Where's Murph? He's laying out on the couch. He's guarding the, the front. He's got to make sure no one breaks in. He's got to make sure nobody breaks in. Yes, these are random evolutions. These are random evolutions. Um, Real Ed McQueen, thank you for tuning in. And then, uh, what games do I play besides Pokemon? So on stream, I will note, I only plan on playing Pokemon. Now, well, I did say a while ago, people were asking to play Fortnite. I said, if we ever hit 100,000 subscribers, or when we hit 100,000 subscribers, I'll do a Fortnite stream. Or if Pokemon is a collab with Fortnite. But the other games I play are just Fortnite. I played Fortnite, um... The, uh, the other day. Why is everybody so good? Why is everybody so good in Fortnite all of a sudden? I'm over there playing. I'm playing. I'm, I will note, I was, the, this happened the last two times I've played. I go on, and first game, I go in a random squad reloaded game. I'm by myself. I load in. And. First game on, random squad with me, and I cook. I absolutely cook, and I just ball out. And then I play again the next game, and it put, like it puts me in a lobby. Like, I'm playing an FNCS, and I just get absolutely smoked every single time. Dude, the thing is, too, the people I'm playing aren't even, like, good. Like, I was in a lobby. I was on a team with someone. My I was level 60. Bluntness Reader, thank you for following on Twitch. I'm level 60. My teammates, level 230. I had a teammate that was level... What was it? It was 230. Four... No. Someone was in the 200s. Someone was in the high 100s. One guy was in the 300s. Then there was a guy that was level 502 on my team. Level 502. Didn't get a single kill. Didn't get a single kill. I had eight kills, and we lost. You remind me of Jinxie? <laughs> you know what people have been saying? Someone said... The, I've mentioned before, people have said I look like Jinxie. I don't see it. Shout out Jinxie, though. But I've been getting comments people saying, I sound like Queso when I yell. I'm like, what? Shout out Queso. Queso's my favorite streamer to watch right now. Queso's my favorite streamer to watch right now. But, dude, level 500 in Fortnite is actually insane. The highest level I think I've ever gotten to is, like, 120. That was whatever season had, um... I think Darth Vader as the, uh, level 100 skin. Because that was the first season I played in a while. And, like, I actually played a decent amount. But, like... Five... Like, 500 is insane. 500 is actually insane. There's one other comment I was going to read. Bro, it's October. Why are you excited for the pool? I swim every day. I used to, at least. Uh, in, in Indoor pool. Indoor pool. Not outdoor pool. Indoor pool. Swim every day. I love swimming. That's how I stay looking ripped. And, oh, my God. And I eat nothing but garbage. I got to tell you guys about something I ate this weekend. I had the Chicken McBig Mac. I'll tell you about it after this battle, though. We have a battle right here. Kirby, you should try a harder a ROM hack of these games you've been playing one day. Dude, I, I do want... People have been saying they want to see me do, like, some extreme hard game. I probably will do one eventually. I probably will do one eventually. Um, I'll be do... I, I have the other games planned out, though. I... The, one of the next games we're going to play is going to be hard. The next couple of games will be... Will be, um... Will be harder than the ones we've been doing. This one, I thought was going to be a little bit more difficult with the random stuff, but, dude, I think we're just getting lucky with the stuff we have. Like, honestly, I think we're just, we just got insanely lucky at the start here. I haven't had the, the, the Krabby Patty from Wendy's yet. No. I might try, I think I'm going to try that this Friday. But, hang on, gearing up for the battle. I'm going to lead Fatty. 
Let's lead Fatty because Wake uh, is having water types. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's let's lead. Let's lead this. Crasher Wake, I have arrived to beat you at last. He's got this goofy outfit on, man, if I'm being honest. He leads a room, papa. And unfortunately, we have nothing super effective against this one. So I'm... Oh, wait. Is Fly... Is Fly super effective? Lax, don't fall asleep. Wait, am I gonna fall asleep midair? Oh my god, no. Lax will die if he falls asleep while flying. Oh no, Fatty use Fly. Fatty uses Fly! You ever seen a Snorlax fly before? Oh... And I fall asleep. And I fall asleep. So I just spam Leaf Blade until I wake up? He used a Hyper Potion. Never mind, we spam Fly until I wake up. That's good, he got the Hyper Potion out of the way. I'm spamming Fly until I wake up. Spite, failed, Fatty's fast asleep. All right, Lax. Like, we, got, we can wake up now, Lax. Anytime now. Anytime now, Lax, we can wake up. Come on, Lax, time for school. Time to wake up, Lax. At least he's just spamming this stupid move that does no damage. At least he's doing, just doing this spite that's doing nothing to me. Like his crash or wake dump, Fatty finally woke up, and fa Fatty Lax flaps his fat wings up and flies into the sky once again. We're taking Ludicolo out this turn. He's going down this turn. He's going down this turn 100%. Oh my god, he survived the game. We couldn't have got a high roll or something like that? Leaf Blade this time, we'll take him out. X Scissor, we eat that. Lax eats that like he's eating a snack. And then Leaf Blade takes him out. Down goes Room Papa. Okay, okay, okay. Next up is... What's next up? Crawdont. Dark Water. Crawdont's kind of cracked. Crawdont is kind of cracked over here. Snow Warning as well. I'm gonna throw a Leaf Blade. Let's see how much this does. Pin Missile. Okay, Lat. Just because it can land five times doesn't mean it has to go five times. Wait, he's gonna take hail damage. Oh, it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna take him out, is it? Oh my, it doesn't. I thought it did. He's on half an HP. Hydro Cannon. We need Laboon to learn that. Okay, we ate that. Dude, Lax just slurped that up like he was Badlands Chugs drinking the ocean. There we go, Crawdon is down. Take the hail damage. We take hail damage, but it's okay. Because we're geared up and ready to go for whatever he has next. Azumarill. God. If Lax doesn't do big damage to this, I might lose here. This thing is too tanky. Leaf Blade. Flare Blitz. Azumarill was hit with Lax's recoil. Do you see that? Yo, Miracle, thank you for subscribing. Okay. We have nothing super effective against Azumarill. Nothing. So I'm going to go Laboon and hope for the best. I'm going to go, for La go Laboon and hope for the best. I clicked the wrong Pokemon. The spam Psychic then. I did not mean to go Rika. I meant to go Laboon.
Rika got Rika got cooked. It's down to nearly halfway now. You know what? Do I go snipe? I'm gonna go snivy now because it won't take hail damage. I'm gonna go snivy so we won't take hail damage. Should I go water spout? Oh, he has flare blitz. I forgot. I'm cooked. We survived! Wait, I got burned. Does he have flame body? Does he have a citrus berry? Orange berry. Thank God. It was only 10 HP. Was it a citrus berry? Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Okay. A little bit more damage. A little bit more damage. We're trying to set up so Laboon can come in and just take it out. Try to set up so Laboon can uh, just take it out. Yeah, and Snivy's just... Snivy is cooked. This is the problem of having over-leveled Pokemon. Everybody else on the team is absolute buns. Ranger Boy, thank you for subscribing. Everybody else on the team is absolute buns. Hail keeps falling. The hail keeps falling down. Hail keeps falling down. Now it is low enough, though, where I think Laboon can handle it. I think Laboon can take it out from here. I'm going to go Hydro Bumpy because it is our... Laboon? This Hydro Pump? I mean, act like your life depends on it. We need one here, Laboon. Laboon, please. I am begging you. Laboon, please, please, please. Take out Azumarill. Take out Azumarill, Laboon! Laboon's stepping up when we need it most. Laboon is stepping up when we need it most! Big Daddy keeps sucking away all the XP. Big Daddy better evolve here today. Big Daddy better evolve here today into something goaded or I'm never going to use coughing for the rest of my life. Ha! 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 Wake! Your last Monza Magikarp! We have Laboon! The king of the sea! And you send out the weakest water type Pokemon there is. He outspeeds Laboon? He ain't surviving, right? Magikarp, I'm sorry. Gyarados is sick, but you suck. Let's go, Laboon! Dude, Laboon with the clutch once again. Laboon with the clutch once again, man. It's a dog. It is an absolute... Yeah, imagine it had Fisher and just took me out. Took me out. Could you imagine it had, like, Fisher or something like that and just absolutely dropped me? I would have cried. I would have actually cried. Okay, what do we learn from this battle? I need to level up. I need to level up. That is the number one thing we learned. We need to level up. Thank you, Wake. TM55. What is that? Anyone know TM55 on the top of their head? Try attack. Never mind. He told us. He told us. More grass? Yeah. The problem is, though, do we really can't decide what is on the team. It's just level up what we've got. Just level up and be able to work with what we've got. Okay. Barry, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone, Barry. Where am I meant to go now? Oh, uh, Wake comes walking out. What do you want, Wake? Yeah, Barry, what's up with all this racket? He's his saying he's his apprentice? There's trouble brewing. There's the Team Galactic goon in front of the observatory gate. Or, or observ observation, observatory, whatever it said. Why'd I s Observatory. Observatory. Why'd I say it so weird? He said something about using a bomb. No one messed with the story not on my watch. Wake's on it. Wake is on it. What are the rules regarding the random moves? They're just randomized. The moves are just randomized. I'm about to have an eventful evening, eating cauliflower, potato, and meatball, and watching basketball at the sport club for four hours. Cauliflower meatball? I don't know if I've ever eaten cauliflower before. Cauliflower's the white broccoli looking stuff, right? Mm -hmm. 
Barry, what are you doing back there? Do have to talk to him from the front? Does my new outfit look good or what? Krogunk's where it's at. Barry, now is not the time to be messing around. Wake said there's a bomb going off over here! What am I, chopped liver? Barry, you were busy dressing up as Krogunk. What do you mean? He just blew off the bomb. It was a bomb named the Galactic Bomb. Me, I was told to push the button, so I did, like, poink. Yo, Elliot, thank you for following me on Twitch. Do not follow me. Don't let anyone else in either. I have to chase this guy now? Oh, he's, he's just right over here. Do I get to battle him? Yeah, I guess we... He said, don't you follow him? I guess I'm going to follow him. I got to follow him. I got to follow him. Yo, Zeo, thank you for tuning in. Ooh, should I grab the berries up here? Are there any citrus berries? Rost berries, no. We need citrus, 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 citrus. I papa berries, no. Nothing we want. Does anyone know where that guy went? Found him. But boy, this Galactic Bomb packs a pretty big wallop. With this baby here, there's not much we can't blow up. I wonder what they have planned for this. Does he have another bomb? Looker's here! We ever do a fan-made game? Probably one day. Probably one day. I will know. I'm not the biggest fan of him, but I don't want to say never say never. Never say never. Yo, uh, J Paradise, thank you for following. Mikey Bots, thank you for following as well. Okay, can I just go off and do whatever now? There was a place I was meant to go, and I don't remember where it was. Looker's got that guy covered. Wasn't there a gym I was meant to beat? We have five gyms now, right? Barry, they got him. Look or chase after the guy, Barry. I don't want to chase. Why do I have to chase him? I'm stuck in this element. I don't know where the bike is. God, I don't know where the bikes are either. People always make fun of me because I don't grab the bikes. We went through like all of Alpha Sapphire without the bikes. I didn't know where it was. Can I send you a Minnesota Gopher jersey? I don't have anywhere for anyone to send me anything. I apologize. That sounds sick, though. Minnesota Gopher jersey? What kind, what kind of team are they? Am I, am I meant to go through here? Oh, yeah. Here's Looker. Ah, I got it, I got it. So Looker said he went, he slipped by unnoticed out here. Anyone see him? Let me know if you guys see him. Excuse me, ma'am. Moo Moo Milk, some more Moo Milk. Do I like Dragon Ball? Yes, I do. I gotta watch the new episode of Dragon Ball Daima this week. I gotta watch that. Friday, I didn't watch it because I caught up on the One Piece manga. I was three chapters behind. Found him! Dude, how come every time I read this guy's message, I yawn? Has anyone noticed that? 
Every time I read this guy's message, I yawn. Yo, Jobin, thank you for tuning in. This guy put a curse on me! Every time... Dude... I swear to God, every time... My voice just cut out there. Every time I go over this guy... He's just that boring, it must be. Um... Earthquake. Earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. Meteor mess. Shouldn't do a lot to me. Not stab. Should not do a lot, do a lot to me. Shouldn't do a lot to me. Not stab. Alakazam down. Alakazam is down. GG's, Alakazam. GG's. Mr. Alakazam. Had one Pokemon. Cynthia! Dude, that guy put a curse on me. I talked about something else. Cynthia, what do you have to talk to me about? Barry, piss off. I'm talking to Cynthia right now. My sister. Barry, have some respect for Cynthia. That explosion in the Great Marsh. It wasn't anything serious. Miss Wade told me to tell you that. But that Team Galactic, wow, are they out of control or what? Next time I see them, I'll teach them the lesson they, a lesson they won't forget. See you around. Later, Barry. He's off doing whatever it is that Barry does. He's more patient than he is energetic, isn't he? So getting back to what I started saying earlier, have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Yes, Cynthia, I have. By the cafe on Route 210. Yes, yes, yes. I've seen them, Cynthia. I know. Use this medicine on Psyduck. She's having me run her errands for you. You want Cynthia? I'll do anything for you. I'll go do it. Secrets of the Mirage Pokemon. Who's the Mirage Pokemon? Mr. Mirage Pokemon? Not Kecleon, is it? Oh, Azelf? Oh. Well, that's anticlimactic. That's not exciting. Okay. Um, so we're about to fly over there right now. Fatty, let's go. Let's fly, Fetty. Route 210. Anyone know where 210 is? 210, 210. Found it. Fly over here. Lax, use fly. Look at the big Fatty using fly. Look at him flying over there. Let's go, Fatty. Thank you. Okay, straight over here. I know exactly what it is. It's just up. It's just straight up here. Oh god, this was the. F oh my god, we root. 210 was the freaky route. Route 210 was the freak route. Got it, right here. Yes, use this secret poster from Cynthia. Oh, they had a headache. Oh, sorry to hear that, Psyduck. Now, is this area up here 210 as well? That one, Psyduck's lost. Cynthia's here already. Cynthia's here already. Yo, Poseidon, they were following. Celestic Town. Okay, I know that. I, I remember this part. Yes, sure, Cynthia, we'll go. We'll go deliver that to your, your Mima. I heard a bossy atmosphere about her. You can do Cynthia as well. You tell me to do all this stuff. Go give this to the Psyducks. Go give this to my mammy. Like, what? Yeah, this is the same route. This is still considered 210, it looks like. Dang it, I was hoping we'd get a new encounter here. I was kind of hoping we'd get a new encounter over here. Like, where's my... Anyone see the map? Did I lose my map? Oh, no, town map. 
use. Oh, we know we have to go up here through Route 210. Keep heading north. I knew this was going to be the first thing we encountered. Yo, Zwark, thank you for following me on Twitch. I appreciate it. Finally, I found you. I appreciate you checking out the stream. And yo, uh, David, yes, I like Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball. Octillery, I do not want to be... Oh, the honey... Wait, wait, wait. You're right. You know what? Let me go to Celestic Town first. You're completely right. We have the, um... Um... Uh, it, it was the one by the Flower Meadow, right? That was the honey tree I did? Let's go over there. Let's go over there. Let's make our way over there. To Celestic Town. Before we do that story, though, let's go check the honey tree. And then after the honey tree, we go back to Celestic Town because we can fly there. Swap loop. Man, I heard Murphy, but make sure he's all good. Murphy's just relaxing. He's a bit tired today, so he's just sleeping. Can't escape. All right, Swablu. No. Oh. I try to run from Swablu, then it uses whirlwind on me. What, Swablu? I'm gonna battle you this time. You, I tried to run away last time and you wouldn't let me use Whirlwind. I'm battling you now, Swablu. Leaf Blade. Later, Swablu. Serious question. What is the best shiny evolution evolution? Murphy's a dog. Murphy's a dog. If he, want, if he gets up, I'll bring him in. Dude, I, so for me... Umbreon, Espeon, or Sylveon. Those are the top three. Those are the top three. Umbreon, Espeon, Sylveon. Dude, I can't see a thing over here. For the love of God. For Shinies, for Evolutions, one of those three, 100%. A lot of people I know like Umbreon. I have always kind of preferred Espeon, though, over Umbreon. I will note, Umbreon's shiny is goaded. It is a goaded shiny, but the Espeon, you think, normal, if you go in, like, Pokemon Go with the shiny Espeon, nah, nah, not that one. I think it's, it's like Battle Stadium or Coliseum. There's some Pokemon game there where there's a different shiny Espeon. It's like a teal color. That is goaded. That color is goaded on Espeon. Absolutely amazing. I'm like, if that's what shiny Espeon looked like, that'd be a top, top tier shiny. For sure. Vaporeon is good. I do like Vaporeon as well, yes. I The purple is good. I like it. Like, the only bad ones, what? Flareon's not that great. Jolteon's not that great. Glaceon and Leafeon are both kind of buns. That's four of them. And then, what, there's other four, right? Those two, three. Is there eight total? Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's eight total. Half of them are good, half of them are meh. Pretty decent mix. Think about something like pseudos. What about pseudo legendaries? The only good ones, I'd say Metagross. Like, good, good one. For okay ones, Dragapult's fine. Oh, you know what? Hydreigon's good as well. I do like High Dragon. I do really like High Dragon as well. Gudra's good too. Max Caliber sucks. Garchomp sucks. Like Dragonite and Titar in like this middle, I don't know. Salamence is meh. Like, there's some good ones and some bad ones for those. 
All right, hang on. Who's not gonna move? Who's not gonna move? Fatty's running with power whip. 85 accuracy, though. Now nah, I'm keeping Leaf Blade. I'm keeping Leaf Blade. There's 90 damage. I'm keeping Leaf Blade. Make it forget another move. Keep old moves. Should this Pokemon give up learning power? The new move? Yes, keep up on power whip. We do not want power whip. We do not want power whip. What do you think of the Niners game? Dude, I didn't watch it too much, but I saw that the Chiefs won. Does piss. Debo Samuel got a tummy ache and stopped playing. He said he went out with an illness. I'm like, are you kidding me? Dude got an illness and decided to stop playing? Like, going into the game, he would have known if he wasn't feeling good. He could have let me know for fantasy. Instead of getting me zero points, I was easily going to win if he got me any points at all. But I had Jaden Daniels as quarterback and then um, and then Debo Samuel. Jaden Daniels got five points. Debo Samuel got a tummy ache and stopped playing. Now, I need a big, I need a big one tonight. I, have, I still have a 67% win projected. Oh my god, no, I, I actually, I probably will win. Actually, no, I, I need a big game. Here's my fantasy outlook right now. The guy I'm playing... Can't what move. Sock pile? No, I'm good. The guy I'm playing, 79 points. He only has one player left to go, though. His kicker. For the Rams tonight. Me, I am on 30 points. No, 29, actually. It's 29.5. I'm on 29 points. But I have Derrick Henry. What's this guy's name? J.K. Dobbins, Marvin Harrison Jr., Chris Godwin, Brock Bars, and Justin Tucker all tonight. I need a big night tonight from all of them. How many games are there? Is there three games tonight? And, sorry. Um, keep battling against Needle King. Needle King, we can take out with Leaf Blade. Is it Bucks Raiders? Arizona, LA? What games are tonight? Ravens, Bucks. Wait, are the Raiders not playing? Oh my god, did Brock. Did... Oh no, Brock Bowers got me 19 points. Never mind. Oh no, I have Marvin Harrison Jr., Chris Godwin, J.K. Dobbins, Derrick Henry, and Justin Tucker tonight. I need a big one tonight from the boys. I did no damage to that thing. And it burned me first fire. You've got to be kidding me. We're getting cooked over here. Dude, I feel like my voice keeps, like, cutting out. Am I losing my voice today? I, I don't feel like I, I don't feel sick or anything like that. Rugby tackles over American football tackles? Dude, have you seen? Dude, I saw, um... I know, I'm not even, like, a football fan. I've never played, like, actually football before. But, dude. People compare rugby to football. And I saw it was Jason Kelsey on his podcast had some rugby player. And the rugby player said it's two completely different things. He's like... Like, NFL, he's like, the rugby it tackles, he, how he described it, wasn't as, like, high speed, I think. But the NFL, you guys, you got guys running full speed just laying each other out. I mean, I don't know. I haven't watched rugby, so I can't really speak on it, but I mean, some of the NFL tackles I've seen are gnarly. Not as much anymore, but, dude, people just getting folded in half. Lucario, okay, we're good. We're good with Lucario. We're good with Lucario. And then everyone always uses the argument with the pads. I'm like, dude, I think the pads, if anything, would they not make it hurt more? Like, you think the pads are like a weapon. Oh, he has water absorb. Why does he have water absorb? Dude, I have one Pokemon that can do damage to him, and he has to have water absorb. I'm speaking this, I don't care. You think faint attack will do more damage? No.
Like that, dude, this stupid idiot better, Big Daddy better evolve into something just insane. Let's go! Finally, we took it out. We finally took it out. Dude, Big Daddy's a higher level than Laboon. Big Daddy's a higher level than Laboon. What level is Big Daddy? 33. How close are we? 1,000 XP away. Laboon, you gotta lead the charge. You gotta lead the charge, Laboon. God, there's gonna be a ton of trainers here, aren't there? Look how fat Raichu looks! Why does Raichu look like that? I thought they did Snorlax dirty. I thought they did Snorlax dirty with the sprite in this game. Raichu looks like he ate another Raichu. Raichu, you need to go on a run or something like that. Go try a salad. Yeah, I have to battle these people. You know what? I got something to talk about, though. I got something to talk about, though. I don't mean to talk about this. This weekend, I finally tried it. I finally got it this weekend. Friday, I went to the gym. And then on my way home, I stopped at McDonald's. Guess what I got at McDonald's? The McChicken McBig Mac. And I also got, by the way, my... Venture to McDonald's was insane Friday night. So I'm out of I'm gonna break something. I'm actually just, just punching holes through everything. My adventure to McDonald's was crazy. So I go, I'm like, I was originally just gonna get the McChicken, but I'm like, you know what? I should get some other stuff too. So I went with my brother, I'm like, let's get some food from McDonald's. So I ended up getting two McChicken McBig Macs, a normal Big Mac, because I wanted to compare them. I got 20 nuggets, and then they had a lot of fries, obviously, and then they had Krispy Kreme donuts. So I got a Krispy Kreme donut from McDonald's. It was amazing. It was my dessert afterwards. It was so, yo, Jack, thank you for subscribing. It was so good, dude. It was so, I'm like, I haven't had a Krispy Kreme donut in so long, in so long, and it was so good. It was so good. But I got all that, and I come home, and I go to eat the, the Chicken McBig Mac. And I'm eating the Chicken McBig Mac. First bite, I'm like, you know what? This thing's actually pretty good. The Chicken McBig Mac? It was actually pretty good. I'm like, I was expecting it to be like, okay. But I was like, you know what? I actually like this. I used to love Big Macs. I would eat them all the time. But for whatever reason, I just haven't been eating them recently. I've been eating the, um, I've been eating the, uh, McDoubles. McDoubles are my go-to right now at McDonald's. But I was like, I gotta try this. So I'm trying to chicken make Big Mac. I'm like, you know what? This thing is great. I'm really enjoying this. And then I finish the first one. And I, I go over to the Big Mac. And instantly, I will note, the chicken make Big Mac is way bigger than a normal Big Mac. At least the, from the McDonald's I went to. If I'm being honest, I could easily eat. Like, if I'm sitting there eating, I would want three Big Macs to be good. Two Chicken McBig Macs would be good for me. Like, th they were. Like, the Big Mac was like this. The Chicken McBig Mac was like this. Like, it was significantly larger than the normal Big Mac. But upon the first bite of the normal Big Mac, I'm like, nah, this is better. First bite of the normal Big Mac, I'm like, nah, the normal Big Mac's better than the Chicken McBig Mac. Very first bite, I'm like, nah. This one's better. I will note, though... The Chicken McBig Mac was very good. It was very good. I really, it was good. The Big Mac is very good. I love, I love Big Mac. I love McDonald's. I should press preface with that. I'm not like some hater saying this like, oh, the normal one's better. No, no, no. The normal one's elite. The Chicken McBig Mac, I wouldn't say it's elite, but it was very good. I enjoyed it. If you like McDonald's, you'll probably like the Chicken McBig Mac. 
But I then had it the next day as well because I had a, uh, a leftover. I had two. I didn't eat the other one because I had... I'm kind of a fatty. I had a large fry. I had the Krispy Kreme donut, the Chicken McBig Mac, the Big Mac, and then I had 10 McNuggets. And, um, it was all great. It was all great. But, dude, here's the only negative about the Chicken McBig Mac. It gave me the worst McFarts of my life. Dude, my farts were foul, man, after eating that thing. They were disgusting. I was borderline gagging smelling those things. They were nasty. But the, I will note, I do, I, I, I don't know if the, um, I don't know if the McFarts are worth the McBig Mac. The McBig Mac might, the Chicken McBig Mac might not be good enough to outweigh the negative of having nasty McFarts for the rest of the day. I don't think, I don't think they, it, it out, it, it's good enough. So, final verdict on Chicken McBig Mac. It's good. It's not elite. It gave me McFarts, and I'm like, I'm good. I will not be having another one. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Where did this hound door go? Shadow Force, okay? And I missed as well. Can we start landing some attacks, please? I knocked much like over. Dude, I have just so much power. I'm just so strong. I hit the desk over here and Munchlax. Did I break my watch? Okay, good night. And Munchlax fell over here. Munchlax! Stop falling. Stay standing, Munchlax. Yo, never super, super B sends it. Thank you for following. Lamar, thank you for subscribing. Go away, thank you for subscribing. Everyone that's been subscribing and tuning in. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. Can I land a move now? I'm speeding through this battle. I'm speeding through this battle. I'm not. We'll come back when we have Laboon. We'll come back when we have Laboon. I'm... We're going to the honey tree. Let's go to the honey tree. Let's go to the honey tree. Dude, my guys just... I have Laboon and Lax. They can do damage. Nobody else does damage. Nobody else can do a lick... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have Water Spout on this thing. And it missed the overheat. Oh, my God. Water Spout's going to take it out. Gaining, we're playing randomized platinum. Yo, GC, thank you for tuning in. Er, and for following on Twitch. Took that thing out. One Pokemon left, right? Only one mine left. Love this. Oh my god. We can take out. Love this. I can handle a lot. Love this. Dave's hot chicken is on the same level as Kane's, in my opinion. So I had Raising Cane's not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before after I did the Saturday stream because it was the only place around me open. I hate Raising Cane's. Poseidon, I can't answer that question. Sorry, I could get in trouble. I hate Raising Cane's. I actually thought it... I actually think it's bad. Their chicken tenders, they're the worst chicken tenders I've ever had. Honestly. But, I will note, their sauce is good. I like the sauce. The Dave's chicken, though, I've had one sandwich from there one time. And it was awesome. The closest one to me was like an hour away, though. I gotta go to that place. So that'd be worth it. I think it'd be worth going. That was way better than anything Raising Cane's had, in my opinion. Shout out Chick-fil-A, though. My top two fast food are Chick-fil-A and McDonald's. I think McDonald's would be number one, though. Just because it's always there for you. And Chick-fil-A always sounds the best on Sunday. But they're closed on Sunday. McDonald's is always there. Always there for you no matter what. But the thing is the Chick-fil-A sauce is... The, I gotta have... I haven't had Chick-fil-A in so long. I'm gonna get Chick-fil-A this week. I haven't had Chick-fil-A in so long. Actually, no. I can't buy anything this week. Never mind. I went to buy... So my dad wanted to go to this concert... And I was gonna buy him tickets for it. And I went to buy the tickets. And so, does, has anyone else had this issue before? So I go to buy these tickets. And it said it was a fraudulent charge on my card. I'm like, okay. 
and I had to put in, yes, this was me. So then I go do it again. And then it said, oh, these tickets are already purchased. I'm like, so then I'm thinking, did I just buy the ticket? But it like the, the system thought they were bought, but I didn't buy them. So then it's like, okay, I gotta go do it again. Then it said I put the wrong code in for the card. I'm like, okay, then I gotta go do it again. Then I go do it again, and it said that um, I, I too many rejected charges, and my card's locked down right now. So I couldn't even go to Chick-fil-A if I wanted to. Big Daddy, you better survive this right here. Thank God. Thunder Punch and Love This Goes Down. Love This Goes Down. Thank God. There we go. Big Daddy needs to get to... Do we get a lot of levels? 700 from that. One level. One more level. This is the thing we've been grinding to level up. This is the thing we've been grinding to level up, everybody. Big Daddy the Coughing. <laughs> Big Daddy the Coughing. Okay, I have to go back to a Pokemon Center. There's that... Get off the bike. Get off the bike. Can I use fly even though Lax is dead? Lax, wake up! We gotta fly! Back down to the town. You know what? Let's go to the honey tree. Yo, Irish, thank you for uh, following on Twitch. Dude, all the followers on Twitch, thank you guys so much. We've gained nearly just as many followers on Twitch as we've had on the, uh... As we are gaining subscribers on YouTube. Dude, literally, Twitch is insane. I, like, you guys are the best. I love you guys so much. Twitch is insane right now. The growth is... YouTube's insane as well. Oh, my God. We've almost gained 100 subs today on YouTube already. Twitch is at, like... We get, like, 40 followers over there. Pokey play. Will there be a Pokey Queen when you become king? No. No, no, no. I've said before relationships and stuff I mean if you want them to fail go ahead and talk about them on stream and stuff no disrespect to any creators that you don't have their relationships and stuff all on stream I've been watching YouTubers for a long time every single YouTuber I've ever seen that shows their boyfriend or girlfriend on stream it never ends good so I am never doing anything like that never 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 yeah, this is the town with the honey tree, right? This is the honey tree town, right? Yo! Yes, and thank you for the gi- One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you for the six gifted subs, man. I appreciate it. Thank Dude, we got the hype train on Twitch. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are crazy, man. Thank you. Okay. For the gifted subs, we've got to get something cracked right here. You guys ready? We're about to get something cracked at the honey tree. We're about to get something cracked here for the gifted subs. You ready? Wait, wait, wait. Won a little at the casino and had to give back to my favorite Pokemon creator. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Glad you, glad you made it out of the casino with some money in your pocket. I appreciate it so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, wait, you did more. One, two, three. I, I gotta set up the alerts. Was that over oh, 10 gifted subs? Did we hit the hype train? Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dude, everyone watching is going to be gifted now. Every single person watching is going to be a sub now. Thank you so much, man. Dude, the amount of subs on Twitch is insane. Like, God on his truth, when I first got the Twitch subs, I'm like, you know what? Maybe we'll get a couple people here and there. There's been so many people subbing. Like, it means so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, it's not shaking. Wait, which? Yo, Byron, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Yo, BRX GM, thank you for following on Twitch. Is there no? Fub Duck, thank you for following on Twitch. I never put honey on. No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. Do I definitely? No, I I put honey. I put honey on a honey tree. Yo, and David, thank you for the gifted sub as well. Dude, I am positive we put honey on a tree.
Go to the town map. There should be a filter. Did I not? Does it go away if you don't go soon enough? Will it go away if you don't go soon enough to the honey tree? It might go away then. It, it must go away then. I could have swore I put some on there. Yo, Flatty, they were following. Yo, S Death, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it. 24 hours? Okay, yeah, we missed it then. That was it. Someone remind me tomorrow. Remind me tomorrow to go to the honey tree. We'll go tomorrow then. We'll go. We put honey. We, so we definitely put honey on that one, correct? We will go tomorrow then. We will go tomorrow. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. How do I get on my bike? There we go. Okay, I mean, can we speed up there? Let's go. There we go. Okay, you can't bike through this grass up here, but we can dodge a bunch of it. Not getting repel because if we get a shiny, we catch it. If we get shinies, we're allowed to catch them. Yo, Jack, thank you for tuning in, man. I appreciate it. We had 120 likes already. Thank you guys so much. What time do you start for the stream? Same time as always, like 9 a.m. I go live like a little, bo little before 9. A little before 9 is when I normally go live. Like 9.55 is when I schedule this stream for. Oh, gotta get so foggy here. All right. Yo, Zingy Zapdos, thank you for tuning in, man. Yeah, someone asked about a Discord. I have a Discord, yes. The link never works, though. I don't know why the Discord link just doesn't work. Yo, Koala King, good luck on your studying. Thank you for tuning in today, man. I appreciate it. And yeah, thank you for the congrats on 6K. I appreciate that. It's crazy. Six, we hit 5,000 last week, 6,000 this week. That's wild. That is wild. Wait, I can... I was about to say I can dodge them, but I missed. Oh, how I did in Fantasy League? It comes down to tonight. I'll let, ask me tomorrow. It comes down to tonight. I have so many. I have so many. Yo, thank you. Thank you guys for all the all the subs and gifted subs on Twitch. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you all so much. But um, for S Fantasy, I have one, two, three, four... Five players playing tonight. How many players do we have in the team anyways? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine including defense and special teams. I have the majority of my players playing tonight. Hydro Pump, Ludicolo, and then I'll just go Cross Poison on Gastronom, I guess. Dude, we, I have so many players playing tonight. Tonight's going to be a big one. Danny, thank you for tuning in. Chase, thank you for following. Or thank you for, thank you for subscribing. Chase, thank you for, for following. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dude, the stream, literally every day, they're getting crazy. I can't, I'm, like, this is the first stream where I'm struggling to keep up with all the notifications from everybody. Thank you guys so much. Oh, my God. Why are my guys so underleveled? Yo, Zingy Zapdos, thank you for the gifted sub. Yes, this is randomized. Faint attack, maybe? Faint attack into Ludico? I, I gotta swap out. I gotta swap Blade out. Now I'm gonna let Blade die. I'll let Blade die so it doesn't get XP. Let Blade die so it doesn't... Sorry. Oh, wait, no. I could've gone... I'm such an idiot. I could've gone Air Slash on Room Papa. Double into Room Papa right here. Because obviously Gastrodon's underground. Ominous win. Okay, Gallade goes down. 
Glade goes down right there. GG's Glade. Yo, Campy, thank you for tuning in. What was the first Pokemon game I ever played? So my first Pokemon game I ever played. Chase, thank you for following, and then yes, and thank you for another uh or thank you for some Yes, and did you you gifted like 15 subs before you even became a sub yourself? Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are crazy. It's like people tune in and start gifting stuff before they're even following. Like, thank you guys so much. Now we got to lock in for this Gastrodon right here. I don't know what I'm going to do again. Oh, wait, no, I do know what I'm going to do against the thing. I'm going to face attack Ludicolo, and I'm going to Leaf Blade Gastrodon. Ready? Ready? Fatty Lax has Leaf Blade. Perfect for Gastrodon. Hopefully, Gastrodon doesn't go first. Hopefully, Lax goes first. How am I supposed to attack this thing if it disappears? But my first ever Pokemon game I played, I played Pokemon uh, Pearl. It was given to me as a gift, and it was purchased used from GameStop. So, it was already beat, and it had every Pokemon you could have on it from Gen 1 to 5 or 4. And so, I just battled the Elite Four again and again. Would I have restarted it? No. But I didn't even know how to restart the game in the first place, so it was never an issue. It was never an issue. Oh my god, I completely forgot. The wheel emote is ready. I never put it in, though. Tomorrow, we're going to have the... Perfect for all the new subs. Tomorrow, the wheel emote will be here. I will have the wheel emote for you guys tomorrow. Okay, Ludicolo is down finally. We have to take Gastrodon out. Hopefully, this big daddy fatty is going to get enough XP to level up this, this battle so he'll evolve. And we can see if we're going to keep using him or not. We can see if we're, we'll keep using him or not. This should take Gastrodon out. Thank God it took Gastrodon out. And then, um, what's it called? Uh, Pokemon Black and White were the first games that, like, played from the beginning. Like, playing a game from the very beginning, Pokemon Black and White were my first ones. They are my first ones. And then Laboon behind him. So if there's another double battle, we have those guys. And how much XP does Big Daddy need? Big Daddy, how much XP do you need? 1,600. Okay, hopefully, hopefully it will level up soon. These trainers just won't leave me alone. My first one was Sapphire, but it was French and my mom bought it off eBay. That's kind of cool, though. Not gonna lie, that's kind of cool. Let's go Earthquake. Let's go Earthquake right here. Black was the first Pokemon game I beat. Dude, they're such good games. Black and White and Black 2 White 2 are so good. They're so good. Um... Yo, WD, I think you're tuning in. Yeah, um, my first was Fire Red, and Ruby I stole from my neighbor. We all have stories like that. My brothers, they have so many games of, that they kind not exactly stole, but like people kind of gave them and they just never gave back. <laughs> like, one of the Soul Silvers we have is from that, and then the Alpha Sapphire is from that, I believe, as well. They like stole it, essentially, from their friends when they were younger. <laughs> Yo, Pop, thank you for tuning in. Yo, Tiger, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, let me go Earthquake. Let me go Earthquake right here. Dude, how many... I, we're going to have so many... How many subs do we have right now? Let me check. Let me pull up the Twitch channel. Channel. Me. Creator dashboard. I have to go stream manager. We have 159 subs on Twitch. That's insane, man. 159. Thank you guys so much. Dude, it, I remember getting my first 150 subs on YouTube. Now we're getting, we have 150 on Twitch. Twitch is paid. YouTube's free. 
Like, that's crazy. Thank you, guys. That's a crazy analytic. We hit 150 subs on Twitch faster than I hit 150 subs on YouTube. That's wild. Thank you, guys. It was 160 now. And now we have, now we have 6,000 on YouTube. 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. And thank you. Why? I'll just say why. Y I Z C R. Why? Shout out to you. Carrying the Twitch numbers. 160 subs. Thank you guys so much. That's crazy. That's crazy. Then Icy, they were following on Twitch as well. Um, Rosa Raid. Y'all stay out and we can go fly. Stay out and we can go fly right here. Dude, Big Daddy coughing, if it doesn't evolve into something good, it legit might derail the playthrough right now. Legit might derail the playthrough. Can't believe I wasn't before. Dude, you know one thing? So I I would I saw a clip from Simon, Mini Minter, and he said on his second channel, he gains about like 7,000 subscribers a month pretty consistently. And he said in a video one time, he said Hey everyone, make sure you're subscribed. And he said that month when I posted that video, I gained 22,000 subscribers. He said because so many people watch stuff and realize they don't even subscribe or follow. And I was like, no way. I I'm followed and subscribed to everybody I watch. And then I'm watching Queso's YouTube channel yesterday. I'm watching him. No, it was this. No, it was last night. I was eating dinner. Last night I was eating dinner. I'm watching Queso play TCG Card Shop Simulator. And the video ended, and I go to pick a different video, and I'm like. I'm not even, I wasn't even subscribed to Queso on YouTube. I'm like, what? So, yo, I mean, this might sound like me just trying to ask for subs, but, dude, legit, check if you're subscribed or followed, because you might not be. Literally, the, the guy I talk about I watch the most, I wasn't even subscribed to. Another random battle over here. It, one-off guy. Mistrevious. Okay, we lead, hopefully, oh, okay. Well, you know, we can just go Earthquake right here. We just go Earthquake right here and we'll be good. Earthquake should be able to take it out. High jump kick, it missed. Kip going and crashed and takes recoil damage and Earthquake will be enough to finish it off. Earthquake will be enough to finish it off. Where your growth on Twitch is wild, bro. Congrats. I appreciate that, man. Like, the YouTube growth, I kind of, like, understand. Like, I understand the YouTube stuff because we've been doing YouTube for a lot longer. YouTube's been going for, like seeing the subscriber numbers slowly go up post videos and everything I have them do good like but twitch dude it's just like twitch is just gone like out of nowhere so i appreciate everybody you asked yo zingy's after us that's what people were saying yo basher they were following and then um hand hand you know let me do this real quick give me one second we have been grinding with this thing for so long so long. We've been grinding with this coughing. Big Daddy the coughing. We caught this thing at level 20. Went up 15 levels with it. If this thing doesn't evolve into something we can add to the team, this potentially might derail the playthrough right now. I'm not going to look. All I'm going to say is Big Daddy the Coughing, please evolve into something good. Please be something good. I'm not looking. I'm not looking like I said. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait! It's not Grout. It might be Tauros. Is it Groudon? It sounds like, like a bull or something like that. Oh my god. I wish I could hear the cry again. Hey, I'm gonna give... Is... No, it wouldn't be one of the Swords of Justice. This is Platinum. I feel... I know this one. It's, it's a legendary, though. I think it's a legendary. Oh, Tobo! I knew I knew it! Let's go! Tobo! That's goaded. I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. 
I will take Big Daddy evolving into Tobo. I will take Big Daddy evolving into Tobo. Straight to the front of the team. That... Oh. Like, talk about when we needed him the most. Big Daddy clutches up. Big Daddy clutches up right there when we need him the most. Yo, Kevin, thank you for subscribing. Johnny, thank you for following on Twitch. And Basher, thank you for following on Twitch as well. And then Der, Der, thank you for following on Twitch also. You guys want the lore of why I call him Tobo? I've said it once before on stream. You want the Tobo lore? This is the lore of the channel. Wait, yeah, he has Dragon Dance. We have Dragon Dance Tobo. Dude, you guys want to know this thing? The lore of Tobo. I'm never going to say this again. This is going to go... This is part of the play of lore. Why Mama Swine's called Tobo. So my little brother... Wanted a good Pokemon card. We battled in this way in which we made up our own version of battling. I've explained this before. This is essentially how to work. Let me grab two cards right here. These are Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but for the sake of the demonstration, this is how it works. You put three cards face down each person. Or six, depends on if you're doing 3v3 or a uh, or, uh, 12v... Or 6v6 or 12v12. Yo, um... Uh, Bri Ryan, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, and then Ryan, thank you for following as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we put cards face down like this, and then you flip a coin for who goes first. Whoever goes first picks which card flips over. So for instance, say I'm going first, and I pick this. I'm like, okay, I, I, let's flip these ones over. Then my opponent will flip that one over. I got to pick it flipped over, so I attack first. I attack, they attack, I attack, they attack, and it goes till someone dies. And that's what we would do. And we would do it based solely on the weakness. If it was weakness, it does like whatever. It says like times two, double damage. And we would do based on the HP and the, the number for the attack. So I don't have any Pokemon cards right by me. Give me a Oh, here we go. That was the last card. For instance, this card right here. We would use this card. It has 130 health and that attack does 50 damage. That's just how we would play it. That is how we would play it. We would eventually add in, like, the moves Body Slam, so it says flip a coin of heads your opponent's active Pokemon's now paralyzed. We eventually added stuff like that in. But at the beginning, it was literally just, what is the number on the card? That's all we would do. And my brother wanted a good card. He's like, I'm going to make my own card. He's little at the time when we were doing this. And so he makes his own card. In the card he took, he took a Swine Up card and wrote Tobo over the name and gave him, like, God Attack as the name of the move, and he did a thousand damage. And so we started calling it Tobo. And so because my little brother called Swine Up Tobo, could I, we have the card somewhere. I, do, I will show you guys the card when I find it. He, like, Black Sharpie over the name Swine Up wrote T-O-B-O, -O, Tobo. He changed the name, he's like, this is my own Pokemon. He's probably like four, five, six years old at the time when he's doing this. And so it's forever been known as Tobo. The whole line. Um, Swinub, uh, Palaswine, and Mamaswine just refer to them as Tobo. So that's why I call him Tobo. Tobo's a goaded nickname too, huh? It's a pretty good nickname. Tobo. I mean, Big Daddy, we're missing first two attacks? First two attacks we're missing over here? Dude, but playing Pokemon like that, I always really enjoyed. I, all, I That was so much fun playing like that when we were younger, I remember. Yo, humidity, thank you for following. Dude, I wish we had some humidity up over here. I wish we had some humidity up in here. It's getting too cold. You know what I've been trying to do? I've been trying to thug it out. Am I getting hit with something that lowers my accuracy? Why do I miss so many attacks right now? Is it because of the fog? 
Dude, this area actually sucks. Can we just make it through here? But, um... I saw... Yo, Chase, thank you for subscribing. I saw something on... It was, I think, TikTok a while back. And it was someone saying, when the weather starts to change, don't put your winter coat on right away when it gets cold. He's like, because if you do that, your body's not going to adapt to the cold weather and you're going to be freezing. For instance, think about at the start of spring. Think the first, like, 60-degree day. That feels, like, hot outside. And then I'm thinking of right now a 60-degree day coming off of summer. I'm like, that's cold. But you're from coming, coming off of winter when your body's used to the cold, a 60-degree degree day feels warm. Versus coming into a 60-degree day after coming off of summer when the weather's been 80, 90 degrees, 60 degrees feels cold. So, what the guy said is like, you can't put your coat on right away because then your body's going to not adapt as well to the cold. And I don't do good with the cold. I have... I think bad circulation because I have this thing called Raynaud's disease or Raynaud's disease where my fingers go numb. Just my fingers and toes just straight up go white and turn numb. And so I, and I'm just naturally cold. Like my hands right now are literally ice cold. It feels like I've had my hands like legit. If you were to shake my hand right now, you'd be like, have you, did you have your hand in a freezer in an ice bath? Literally like my hands are just perma cold. My feet are always cold as well. Like, I'm wearing foot reveal. I'm wearing wool socks right now. Like, dude, it, like, my hands and feet are just naturally always cold. And so, um, I, as a result, am always freezing. So I'm trying to combat it this year. I've been trying to thug it out. I've been wearing shorts longer, and I've been wearing, um, I haven't worn my, win I wore my winter coat one day. I went to my brother's soccer game, but we were out in the middle of the field and it was windy. I'm like, I have to wear my winter coat. And does anyone else have this? I might just be weird. Dude, I think I'm actually cold-blooded. If there was a cold-blooded human, I think I am cold-blooded. I'm not even just saying that. I genuinely think I might be cold-blooded. Honestly. Like, lay in the sun to warm up. You know, I mean, the slightest bit of cold, I'm freezing. And then all the different stuff with, like, the heat doesn't bother me at all. Humidity doesn't bother me at all. All that stuff. Like, I'm meant to be somewhere where there's warm weather. I'm meant to be somewhere where there's warm... But at the same time, I'm like, dude, I like a, uh... I like the, the change of the seasons. I just don't like... Like, it, here's the thing. If winter ended in December, that would be amazing. That would be, that would be amazing. If winter and because I'm cool with the end of the year. It's January, February, March, April that I hate. And that's a third of the year, man. A third of the year is just miserable weather. It sucks. It sucks. But the thing is, I'm not the... I can't move. I'm not the kind of person that could move somewhere. But, like... Because I'm like, I don't want to... Like, I don't get how people move. Like, away from, like, their family. and I could never do that. Like, I, some, I saw someone one time said, like, oh, my, my, I'm getting to see my siblings. They live super far away. And, like, dude, I couldn't imagine living far away from my siblings. My little brothers, like, we do everything together. Like, I couldn't imagine living more than, like, an hour away from them. Like, that would suck. So, like, I can't move off by myself to a different state. Like, oh, we have that, there's Uncle Playa. He's off in, uh... Tim Buck 2 living over there. Like, I can't be doing something like that. And also, too, the biggest thing for me, you know, the family is like, oh, look, that guy, he sounds nice. Oh, why doesn't want to move away from his family? The biggest thing for me is all the good restaurants by me. If I'm being honest, that is the number one thing that would prevent me from ever, like, permanently moving away. The restaurants by me. My favorite pizza place? I, I will, n I've never found a place that come, comes close to it. How am I expected to just go move somewhere and find a good place? Like, dude, if I were to ever move somewhere, I would have to scout out the area. I would have to go scout it out beforehand. My stuff lag, is Twitch lagging? 
Nothing for me said there was ever any lag. Let me check. I can... Actually, I think I can check on this Twitch thing over here. I think it says if it lagged. I don't think so. It looks fine on my end. Refresh it if it lagged. Slight like frame, frame drop, but it's good. I apologize. Like I said, I gotta go... It, it, I don't know what it is. I apologize. Thank you guys for watching me. You wanna see how blue the sky is by me? Dude, we had blue... We've had clear skies the past couple days. We had clear skies the past couple days. You love Mammoth Hunter? Mammoth Hunter's the best. Shout out Tobo. Big Daddy Tobo. Thank God it evolved into a good Pokemon as well. Yo, Scythe, I'll check it out after the stream. I keep, we miss every... Is that, does Big Daddy have an ability where it's like, I miss half my attacks? Literally. Dude, it's, it's taken me an hour to get through this area. I'm gonna post this today as the first, like, video of the stream on the YouTube channel, and people are gonna be like, this sucks. Because it, it's taking me an hour to go through here! Dude, I love Waylord. Shout out, Waylord. I love all the fat Pokemon. Yo, Joe Ban, all right, man, gotta sleep. See you, man. It's 10.30 right now. Have a good one, man. Thank you for taking time to tune in today. Have you read the Pokemon Adventures manga? I started reading it. On stream, I read the first two volumes. I could I didn't show the screen. I was just reading it out loud. And we were like going fop, like a read-along type thing. And uh, it was really good. But the thing is, here's the problem. I want to read that really bad. But I'm like, I should do like the reaction stuff to that on stream. But I can't show the the, the pages on on stream. I'll get in trouble. I would love to do that, though. Yo, Allberry, thank you for following on Twitch. I would absolutely love to do that. Yo, yeah, uh... Yasin, thank you for, uh, for tuning in today, man. Thank you for the gifted subs as well. Hope you have a good one. Did I miss the earthquake? There we go, took Wynot down, took Wynot down. Took Wynot down. 30 years old, buddy, I'm 50 years old. I ain't 30 years old, I'm 50 years old. Can we make it through here now? Rotom, all right. One more Pokemon, please be... Okay, it's Rotom Mo. Fly should be super effective, right? I'm speeding this up. I'm not sitting here through this. I'm not sitting here through this. What are the odds? The move that... The move that doesn't have 100% accuracy lands both times out of everything else. Is this a new route? Route 210. No, this is still all Route 210. Oh my god, we finally made it. Finally made it, finally made it, finally made it. Ha! Look at the clown. Dude, people are scared of clowns, huh? Thank you, Nistro, I appreciate it! You know I gotta save the game. I've been playing for two hours and we haven't saved the game once. Yes, save the game, please. Overwrite the save file. Thank you very much. Off we go. <clears throat> okay. We have to find Cynthia's Graham. Is this her? Odd spaceman in front of the ruins. He says he'll blow the town with a bomb. What? Wait, is that Cynthia's grandma or not? Hyper Potion, we'll take those. We'll take those. Okay, I'm gonna lead, um... Laboon, we don't need to level up because he's too good. Fatty and Big Daddy are good levels already. Snivy, I need to level up. Snivy's buns. Snivy's buns. Uh, once again. We, I, I, I'm giving it the XP share, though. Snivy has to become good. I am not going to let Snivy be buns in two separate playthroughs when Metagross is my favorite uh, pseudo-legendary Pokemon. 
I've been playing the whole time. You've been streaming apart from when I made the cheesecake. Thanks for reminding me to save. No problem. Yeah, everyone's safe. Everyone's playing Pokemon right now. Save your game. Save your game. Who's your favorite Pokemon? Mega Charizard X, I think is the coolest Pokemon design of all time. Although I feel weird saying Omega is my favorite Pokemon, so I say Big Fatty Lax. Big Fatty Lax. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow up with a Galactic Bomb. What's it with Team Galactic blowing stuff up? <clears throat> you gonna mess with me? Yeah, buddy, we are gonna mess with you. Let's go, Tobo, let's beat him up. Come on now, Big Day! Tobo! Let's mess him up over here, let's mess him up over here. Lugia! Good thing we have Thunder Punch. Sucker Punch. That goes first no matter what. But Big Daddy eats that. And then we go Thunder Punch. Dude, these Team Galactic guys got one head. Garatina. This one's got Lugia. Come on, give me Paralysis so he does nothing next turn. Iron Head. That's neutral, right? Never mind. Am I gonna lose to this? Wait, why didn't I go last turn as well? Keep it paralysis. Okay, why? Do, so why did I go first? Right? Or, do we have a speed tie. Curse. Oh, his speed fell. Never mind. I'm gonna use curse. Okay, we're good. We got him then. Team Galactic grunches. Threw the battle. He just threw the battle. And Lugia goes down. What a moron. Just completely threw the battle. Big Daddy gets 700 XP. Snivy gets 700 XP. Snivy's up to level 27. is what we like to see. We need Snivy to learn some new moves. Dawn Fan. Okay, we have nothing for Dawn Fan on Big Daddy over here. So, I'm going to leave it out until it dies. And then we'll go, um... We'll just go knock off right now. Yeah, it does nothing. It does nothing. Frenzy plant, and we're cooked. Now we go, oh, what's his name? We'll take it out. Laboon will take him out. I have faith in Laboon. Laboon will take Dawn Fan out. Down goes Big Daddy. GG's Big Daddy. I appreciate all you did here for the battle. Yo, Ping G, thank you for tuning in. Laboon's got this covered, though. Wait, did it say Laboon had an item? What item does Laboon have? No, it said Snivy. No, Laboon does not have an item. Never mind. Hydro Pump, and Dawn Fan goes down. And Dawn Fan goes down. And he ran out. So is this Cynthia's grandma or no? As the elder... Okay, this has to be her. Okay, it is. Cynthia, she's my granddaughter. Hand over the old charm to the elder. There you go, Granny. We'll just discover now and then. Since you're a why not look around inside the ruins? Got it, Granny. Let's go. Do we get an encounter in here? Do Pokemon spawn in here? I don't think so. The ruins. Examine the ancient cave painting. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming in a triangle. In the middle of them a shining sphere. What is this all about? Yeah, dude, I really like the lore with the legendaries in this game as well. I agree. There exist beings. Beings so powerful that they were considered deities at the time. There were three Pokemon with power to match either being. The three kept balanced with either being as if they formed a pyramid. It's the ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. I'll listen to more about the legend if you will. Elder, who, who is, is this Cyrus? It is Cyrus. I want to put an end to pointless strife and hostility. I am seeking the power to create the ideal world. Thus, I want you to answer. The world today can't change because the three Pokemon keep it in balance. Is that what you were saying? I wouldn't know. I don't know the world's in balance. I'm quite satisfied with the world as it is. I'm not interested in your question, Cyrus. 
plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate that the world is incomplete. I will change the world. At the first step, I will destroy this cave painting. Why do they want to destroy everything? Yeah, sure, buddy, I'll battle you. Is this the first time I battle Cyrus? The first showdown with Cyrus. Isn't he like 20 years old, actually, but he looks like he's like 58? All right, Laboon, hit my chain right off rip. Hydro Pump. Land of the first Hydro Pump. Laboon's here to ball out. Laboon is here to ball out. What are the odds? He has an electric type attack. I'm gonna miss. Laboon's not missing. Laboon's not missing. Never mind. Who am I kidding? Laboon doesn't miss! Down goes hit my champ. Sun current. Cyrus, I feel bad beating you. You're so bad. Big Daddy and Fatty are both dead. I'm gonna go Rico right here. I'm gonna go Rico right here. Yo, Rampiro, then you were following, and then uh, Furto, then you were following as well. I'm going Rico right here. Psychic. One HP. Survive, 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 survive. Survive, survive, survive. We survived. Good. Psychic again. On the Sunkern? Is this like a sleeper Sunkern? Is Sunkern actually... No way. HOW IS IT ALIVE?! Is it on .01 HP? Is anyone else seeing this right now? Psychic again. Now he goes down. GG's, Rika. GG's, GG's. GG's, yo. Hey, um... Yo, for to love your Instagram Reels, man. Thank you for that. I appreciate you checking out this stream, and thank you for following. Baneri. Normal type. We'll stay out. He has two Pokemon left after this. Two Pokemon left after this. Or, er, including this. Sorry. Psychic again. Dude, this is... Baneri just land... First of all, outspeeds me, and then lands the Stone Edge first try. Psychic, please take it out. Lax can't land a Thunder Punch for the life of him over on the hill, and a Baneri lands back-to-back -back Stone Edges like it's nothing? Fatty's up. Fatty's up. You know why he has Force Palm. Fatty has Force Palm, so we're going to take this thing out. If I am confused and don't attack, I'm done playing the game today. We're, moving, we're playing Pokemon Red. I'm done. I'm not playing the game anymore. We're playing Pokemon Red. I'm going to Pokemon Red. I'm not playing this anymore. No, 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 no. Baneri's down. Today's not the day in the game. Today's not the day in Platinum. Today is not the, our day in Platinum. Obama Snow. Obama Snow, I can take you out. I can take you out, Obama. Actually, no, I can't. I don't have anything super effective against it. No, we have fly. We have fly. We have fly. We have fly. If he freezes me here, I'm done. I forgot I'm confused. Come on! Fatty finally said that was confusing. Here we go. Blaine's going to clutch up. Fatty's gonna clutch up. Fatty's gonna clutch up.
This is his last Pokemon. We need to do something here. Flash. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Fly right here. Ice Beam. We we dodge. Land the fly. Be have you ever seen a Fetty Lax fly? You ever seen a Snorlax fly? And Obama Snow goes down. Obama. Yo, Breck, thank you for tuning in. And Obama Snow goes down. GG's, Obama Snow. Snivy grew to 28. Weather Ball. Like, are we gonna have the first ever special attacking Metagross? Are we gonna have the first special attacker Metagross? GG, Cyrus. If the beings of time and space are brought together, they can't be stopped. And he just disappears. Yeah, imagine you're standing, you see a Snorlax. Flapping his arms. Actually, we'll be flapping his arms slowly. He'd be flapping them super fast. Flap them super fast. Wonderful. Uh, what does there need to change it? Oh, yes. I found something useful. You should take this. It belongs to my granddaughter, but she doesn't use it anymore. What'd she give me? Something Cynthia used to use. Something Cynthia used to use. Surf. We got surf. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that's everything in this place, I believe. Correct? Imagine Snorlax landing on you. Yeah, he would crush you. Oh, hey, Cynthia. Was everything all right here? You saw those strange people with the Galactabomb, didn't you? Yes, I did. With those team Galacta people, I thought they were harmless. The bizarre ways they dress all their wild claims about the new universe. I thought it was just silly talk, nothing to take seriously. But they're surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable. I know, Cynthia, it's ridiculous. By the way, were the ruins fun to explore? If you're interested, there's a library in uh, Canalave City. It's stocked with ancient books. You can look up Sinnoh's history there. Should we go read the history of Sinnoh? It might help you complete your Pokédex, too. The quickest way to Canada City is to go west from Jubilife City. Wait, does Cynthia just stay here? I gotta go heal up at the Pokémon Center. Yeah, Cynthia, I get it. I heard you the first time. I thought you were gonna say something else. All right, to the Pokémon Center we go. So I meant to go there next. Is that Canada City the next place you're meant to go? Is that where we're meant to go next? Thank you, Mr. I appreciate it. Let me pull up the map. Um, nope, wrong thing. Or you know what? Yeah, we can do this. This is actually a hack. Open up the Pokemon and use Fly with Fatty. Eterna City. Oh, that's that one. Okay, so that's the next gym we go to. Okay, let's do that tomorrow. Let's wrap up Platinum for today. And a lot of people have been asking me to keep doing the Red playthrough. So let's go play some Pokemon Red. That'll be all today for Pokemon Platinum. And again, I'll do it like an outro thing. This, So this was the first time I'm going to be recording this and posting it as a YouTube video. The play, What we played today in Platinum, I'm going to take and post on YouTube as a video after this stream. So for those that might be watching the video, make sure you drop a like. Let me know in the comments if you liked me doing this. If people like this throughout this week, I will be posting this again throughout, like, uh, for the, the foreseeable future. But today's the first day we're testing it out. Hopefully it's good. That is all for Pokemon Platinum today.